The Charlotte Hornets have re-signed Willie Hernan Gomez on a three-year deal after his first year in New Orleans. And it's interesting that they wanted to lock him up for three more years. Now, given there is a bit more uncertainty right now around the future of Jackson Hayes, I would suspect he's probably back on the team next year. But that, of course, is not a given at this point, given his legal situations. But in all likelihood, I would suspect Jackson Hayes is back on the team for the start of next year. And so that leaves the New Orleans Pelicans with JV, Jackson Hayes, and Willie Hernan Gomez on the team. JV has one year left. Jackson Hayes, I believe, has two years left of team control. And Willie Hernan Gomez now under contract for three more years. And Willie Hernan Gomez played 47 games last year for New Orleans. That's it. And that wasn't necessarily due to injury. That's just due to the fact that they had Steven Adams, Jackson Hayes, and Willie Hernan Gomez all at that center spot. So they weren't all always going to play. Jackson Hayes only played 60. He didn't play all the games at the start of the year. He did play a little bit more as the year went on. Jackson Hayes is a bit better of a rim protector and, of course, is younger, so has the upside. But Willie Hernan Gomez is a much better rebounder. His rebounding stats would show that. They're both 6'11". They both give you good length and decent rim protection. I think Willie Hernan Gomez is that superior rebounder. Either or floor spacers by any stretch. Either of them are sitting out of the three-point line shooting threes by any regard. Um, neither of them are terrible free throw shooters. Neither of them are great free throw shooters. None of them, nothing really separates these two drastically other than the fact that Jackson Hayes just has a bit more freakish athleticism that could potentially develop into him being better. And because of that, I do find it interesting that they have decided to bring back Willie Hernan Gomez on a three-year deal. That's not a knock on Willie Hernan Gomez. It's just a, a statement of they have three centers now. Maybe they don't trust that they're going to be able to keep JV. But then did they really want to start Willie Hernan Gomez or Jackson Hayes? Probably not. So if there's any Pelicans fans that are watching this video, let me know your thoughts down below on why they've decided to re-sign Willie Hernan Gomez on, for three years. Because I have nothing against Willie Hernan Gomez, and I think bringing him back for center depth is good because you could never have too many centers on your team unless you have like four or five. But centers and often have more injuries than any other position. It's just the nature of being that tall, that lengthy getting knocked down to the ground, knee injuries, back injuries, that much weight. That's just part of that type of size. And so having three centers on the roster is very important, in my opinion, at least. But having him signed to a three-year deal is a bit odd to me, given the amount of depth they have and the limited production they've gotten from him at a high-end level. But nonetheless, that is my thoughts on the Willie Hernan Gomez re-signing by the New Orleans Pelicans. Let me know your thoughts on the signing down below in the comment section. And if you want to hear my thoughts on other free agency signings, most specifically, the signing of Devontae Graham by the New Orleans Pelicans. Be sure to click the box on the left-hand side. But if you want to hear my thoughts on other free agency signings, I will have a playlist of videos on the right-hand side on the box that you can click. With that being said, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you guys in the next one.